that's the thing, it's not just me and you anymore. What do you mean? Um, I'm pregnant. What? Wait, are you sure yet? Yes, yes I'm sure. It's, I took the pregnancy test this morning and it came back positive. Um, sorry if this ain't the reaction you're expecting, but... So, so I'm in shock right now. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Don't, don't cry. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. I've messed things up. It's just. Don't it's say, all my fault. Don't, don't don't say that. We both knew what we were doing. What about the wedding though? It can still happen. That was two months since that night happened. So I guess there's still time to focus on the wedding. And then think about the baby after. I know it. I know it sounds selfish, but I kind of pictured us spending a few years together before we even started thinking about having kids. You know, just going on holidays, saving up, just enjoying each other to the max. And then now, baby's on the cards, so though. There's so much to think about. I, I just wasn't ready to hear this right now. This is crazy. I've got something to say, Michael, but I don't want you to get angry. Go on. What I'm about to say is a lot, and I understand if you want to call off the wedding or you don't want to be with me. But that night that we slept together, I slept with someone else the night before. It was the night Mel and I went out with our girls and, I don't know, I think someone spiked my drink, but... And you know I don't even touch alcohol, but one thing led to another. One thing led to another? What do you mean one thing led? You know, I don't even answer that. Who was it? Michael, don't. Who was it? It was Damien from the Salsa Club. Oh, my Lord. But he knew we were together. He even smiled in my face. What a snake. Someone must have spiked my drink because... He was the only guy I knew then. There was no one else there, and I don't know. And then I was in his house, and and then I don't know what happened next. You just, just don't want to hear anything you got to say right now, to be honest. My God, I'm sorry. Shh, shh, be quiet. Shush. Shut up. My God. Imagine yet. Yeah. I wait my whole life saving myself for a woman like you. Yeah, all them goals I've, I turned away, all them heated moments I ran from, them fiery flames, just to save myself, yeah, myself, from being burnt. Yeah, obviously I did that for God in reverence to him and his word, but at, at least, Sophia, at least I would have expected my wife to appreciate and respect that. Huh? I know. Now, 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 now all of that's gone out the window. For what? I wasted my time for what? For you, for this? Look at you! Is there any more one that stands I should know about? No, Michael, just... Please, I'm sorry if you just... Shut up! Him. Just shut up! I'm sorry! Sorry's not cutting it! Sorry's not gonna... It's not gonna change anything! It's not gonna cover up what you did! And you done dirt and you know it, Zoe. I, I don't care what you've got to say! Please, Michael... Just get off me, don't touch me. Please. One minute, yeah, you're coming to me telling me that you're pregnant. And I'm shocked. I'm happy at the same time. It's a bit, a bit scared. But then how do I even know that the baby's mine? How do I, I know? know? I don't Tell know. Tell me, how do I know? I don't know. You girls really know how to mess with a man's head. That's Sophia, oh, I'm, I'm not that guy to play with. Look, Trust me. So, what, are you not going to talk to me? Talk for what, So, What more can you possibly say? What more is there for you to say? Huh? You said enough. The mad thing is, yeah, I brought you here to celebrate. And then you come to me. You come to me with this crap. And I said, I'm sorry. We're done. It's done. No, yeah? please. We're, it's done. We're done. Just go on, get out. I don't want to look at you. Get out of my face. You, any girl.